Hello, my Aptera family. Welcome back to Solar Ed Ice to EV channel. Today, I feel like tap dancing. Please like and subscribe to keep our channel live. We know the anticipation is real, so we've created a comprehensive waiting for Aptera production checklist to ensure you're fully prepared for your Aptera delivery. You can access a Google Doc through the Solar ED Ice to EV channel description links. I am keeping receipts on all the Aptera YouTube haters in cyberspace. 2023 was a very interesting year. The U.S. Big Three have all cut production volume, delayed EV launches, or have not begun any EV launches. Based on my 30-plus years of engineering and auto manufacturing experience, Aptera is in a great position with a high confidence rate of making it happen and setting a new benchmark for solar-powered electric vehicles at an affordable price. I pose the question, can an elephant learn how to tap dance? Currently, Tesla is occupied with launching the new Model 3 and the Cybertruck. Aptera is the USS price boss with the best manufacturing and technology processes. We have outlined convincing arguments for why three big elephants cannot tap dance in the EV marketplace. Major Tesla competitor confirms over half of its dealers will not sell its new EVs. Our dealers know their market. Ford dealers are slowing their embrace of electric vehicles. Ford dealers will not sell fully electric vehicles in 2024 and will stick to hybrids or traditional gas-guzzling models instead. Electrek speculated that part of the reason for slowed EV adoption comes from Ford's initial requirements that dealers invest substantial money in adding EV charging stations and infrastructure, which some dealers may have deemed the weird situation on whether an elephant tap dances in Ford's case. The automaker is forward-thinking, got the EVs in their lineup, setting the foundation for a second-generation EV lineup. On the other hand, GM says EV demand is shrinking, but data shows a complex market. This elephant has a broken leg. With GM's history of the EV1 out of Lansing, Michigan, it is embarrassing to see GM trip over itself. They cannot ramp, and there are technical issues with the software on and on. General Motors has officially delayed the Silverado EV for another year due to shrinking demand and engineering challenges. But what exactly does this signal to the EV market at large? National and state-by-state -state figures also show positive trends, but analysts warn that a plateau could be impending, leaving automakers and their EV investments high and dry for the moment. It's in GM's best interest to retool its Orion plant for electric truck manufacturing, as the facility will phase out Chevrolet Bolt production later this year, though it's surprising to see a manufacturer delay what is likely to be its flagship EV. And it's not just Ford and GM that are struggling with an alleged EV market lull, as companies like Lucid, Lucid Motors produced 30% fewer models this quarter. For reference, Washington's EV sales rate hovered around 8%, 12% through the first half of 2022 before dramatically ramping up. A glance at the EV sales rates from manufacturers points to relatively positive trends, too. Ford reported a 14.8% quarterly rise in EV sales, with the Mustang, Mach-E, and E-Transit posting their best sales quarter ever. That accounts for a total EV sales increase of 65% from August to September for Ford. That's the situation in California, Oregon, and Washington, where those states have the largest EV share, but also the slowest growth in EV share, Brower explained. GM's slowdown in EV production is actually indicative that the company monitors demand very closely. Of course, pricing plays a big role in the slowdown of EV sales. In fact, the average price of a new EV in the U.S. this August 2023 was 53,376, down from 65 to 688 in August to 2022. Factoring in federal and state incentives drops the current going rate into the $45,000 range, but that still isn't affordable for many Americans. As expected, Stellantis prioritizes an electric future. As of 2024, they have no real substantive lineup. This elephant is not tap dancing at all. Just about as soon as Stellantis became a reality, it was already clear the automaker would invest in EVs. They plan to offer more than 75 battery electric vehicle models and reach global annual BV sales of 5 million units by 2030. For those unfamiliar, Stellantis came about via a merger between Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, FCA, and the French PSA Group. On our shores, brands sold under the new Stellantis umbrella include Alfa Romeo, Chrysler, Dodge, Fiat, Jeep, and Ram, though the automaker also has a whole host of brands in its portfolio overseas. According to a recent report on Automotive News, 
Stellantis is investing over $35 billion between now and 2025, and the funds are specifically related to future electrification efforts, as well as software related to EVs. The Grand Cherokee will also get the 4XE treatment along with other Jeeps. Company CEO Carlos Tavares has already made it clear that Stellantis will use the Jeep brand to lead the company forward with electrification. The plan is to launch the first fully electric Jeep in 2026. Stellantis will offer all electric options in most segments by 2025 and all segments by 2030. Highlights include a high-performance Dodge plug-in hybrid, a fully electric Dodge muscle car, and an electric Chrysler crossover. Alfa Romeo and Fiat will follow suit in 2027 and 2030, respectively, though there's no indication of which models may be available in the States. Aptera family used the Waiting for My Aptera checklist to track your Aptera reservation and your stock purchases. We are 40,000-plus reservations strong. Go Aptera, go thank you for your support of my channel. Extra background reading for your pleasure. Please like and subscribe.